So you're moving to Reston, Virginia, and you've heard a lot of good things about Reston Town Center. Well, guess what? In this week's video, I'm gonna give you six things that you need to know about Reston Town Center. I'll give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and we're getting started right now. Boom! Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor. It's another beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. If it's your first time here on my channel, please consider subscribing because every single week I release videos all about living, working, playing, thriving, top five neighborhoods, pros and cons, basically everything that you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. So seriously, because of all these YouTube videos that I create about living in Northern Virginia, I get phone calls daily from folks just like you who are moving to or relocating to Northern Virginia, and I absolutely love it. So if you even think about moving to the area, you know, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. You know, I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Reston Town Center, also known by locals as RTC or simply just the Town Center. So Reston Town Center is going to be a mixed-use development. And in my mind, it's going to be a mini city in itself because it has everything you're possibly going to need from awesome restaurants, luxury condo living, transportation, offices, amazing jobs, grocery stores, and so much more. So let's get started with the six things that you need to know about Reston Town Center with the history. So planning for Reston Town Center actually started back in the late 70s. However, construction didn't start until 1988 with phase one of Reston Town Center opening in 1990. So when Reston Town Center opened back in 1990, it really wasn't much. You had a couple 11 story office building. You had some uh, low rise buildings made for office and retail space. And you also had the Hyatt Hotel. Real progress in Reston Town Center actually happened between the year 2000 and 2010 with the construction and opening of luxury condos such as Midtown, Midtown North, Savoy, and Market Street. So obviously this brought an influx of people now living in Reston Town Center. Also during that time, you had a huge amount of restaurants, retail, office buildings, all built. So now you have a lot of people living in the town center, a lot of restaurants, a lot of great jobs. So it just kind of really created this mini city atmosphere that I'm telling you about. In fact, I actually remember going to Reston Town Center probably in the year 1999 or 2000, around that time frame. One of my favorite restaurants at the time was there and I would go there for like a birthday dinner. And I remember it was just a few buildings, my favorite restaurant and just a bunch of open land and parking. And now if you go to Reston Town Center, it's completely unrecognizable back from when I first went there back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Now the second thing that you need to know about Reston Town Center, that's gonna be the location. So Reston Town Center is going to be located in the center edge of all of Reston. So the great thing is, is no matter where you live in Reston, you can be within five miles of Reston Town Center. Also, Reston Town Center is going to be six miles away from the nearest international airport with Dulles Airport. It can be about 21 miles away from Washington, D.C. Also, Reston Town Center is going to be right next to the toll road, which is awesome because it's a direct shot to the airport and in the opposite direction, direct shot to Tyson's Corner. So you have absolutely prime time location with Reston Town Center. Now let's talk about the fun stuff with the third thing that you need to know about Reston Town Center with dining and entertainment. You can have so much fun, nightlife and entertainment in Reston Town Center. It's a great place to go out with your friends or family. You got awesome restaurants like Morton's The Steakhouse. Actually, I used to work there actually, side note, even met my fiance there. It's a great place for a nice steak dinner. One of my favorite restaurants, Uncle Julio's, which I believe is probably the best Mexican restaurant in the Reston, Virginia area. You have a great seafood restaurant with Passion Fish. That's an awesome place to sit down, have a nice, quiet, great seafood dinner. You can have Jackson's, which they're known for great American food, plus having an inside bar and outside bar. It's a great place to meet your friends, have a couple drinks. Reston Town Center is not just for adults. You got a lot of cool stuff for the kiddos as well. You have an awesome pizza place called Ann Pizza. And after that, you can grab some ice cream at Ben & Jerry's. Also in Reston Town Center, right, right in the center, you have the ice skating ring. So a lot of kids love doing that. It's great, you know, get some exercise. Full disclosure, I'm not an ice skater at all. I think I tried it once like 10 years ago. I hurt my ankle, haven't done it since. But I see a lot of people doing it and they seem to have a lot of fun. Plus, you have the movie theater as well. Now, as I'm filming this video, it's during COVID, so it's currently closed, but hopefully the movie theater will reopen at some point in 2021. 
So whether you live in Reston or not, Reston Town Center is great, like I said, for awesome dinner, go out with your friends for a couple drinks, maybe during happy hour, just walk around, go ice skating. So this is probably hands down the best part about Reston Town Center is the dining and entertainment. If you're getting any value out of this video, please hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be somewhere around there. You'll find it, but it really helps me with the YouTube algorithms. That way I can keep creating awesome content all about living right here in Northern Virginia. Now the fourth thing that you need to know about Reston Town Center, that's gonna be the homes. So Reston Town Center is gonna feature mid to high rise luxury condos featuring Midtown, Midtown North, Savoy, and Market Street. You're also gonna have luxury townhomes with West Market. Now these townhomes, they're technically not in Reston Town Center, but they're like right across the street. It's gonna be like a two minute walk, so I'm gonna include those in this video. Now the average price for a condo in Reston Town Center, it's gonna start off about $270,000. That's gonna be like a one bedroom, one bath, 900 square foot condo, all the way up. In fact, I just checked today, to $2.7 million. Now that is crazy amount of money for a condo. That's like New York City prices. Well, the one on the market for 2.7 million, it's gonna be in Midtown. It's gonna be a penthouse suite, which is 3,000 square feet. That's literally like a single family in the sky. And that one features a 1,400 square foot patio. That's literally bigger than most condos. So huge price range with the condos in Reston Town Center. But to be average, like average two bedroom, two bath, really nice luxury condo in Reston Town Center, it's gonna be about 550 to $600,000. That'll get you an awesome condo. And the townhomes in Reston Town Center, they're gonna be in that 780 to like that low $900,000 price range. In these townhomes in West Market, they're gonna be four levels, three bedrooms, four bathrooms, 26, 2700 square feet, one or two car garage, and a lot of them will have the rooftop terraces. And like I said, with these townhomes, kind of get the best of both worlds. Like if you want more space, maybe a condo is not for you, these townhouses will be perfect. And you still have the convenience of being right in the town center. So you're also gonna have a great luxury high rise apartment building with the Cosmopolitan. Now the greatest benefit of the Cosmopolitan is they offer short term leases, like three to six months. Also, you have the option to have it furnished. So it's really great if you're relocating to Northern Virginia and you don't want to buy a house right away, yet you don't want to be locked into a long-term lease, you can get a three-month lease there while you shop for your next home. So it's a huge benefit and a lot of my relocation clients actually go that route. So yes, the homes in Reston Town Center, they are expensive, they're definitely pricey, but guess what? You pay for location, you pay for the convenience, and all the benefits of living right here in Reston Town Center. Now the fifth thing that you need to know about Reston Town Center, that's gonna be the Reston Town Center Metro Stop. So the Metro Stop's gonna be right along the Silver Line, which will take you directly to Dulles Airport, directly into Tyson's. You'll also be able to jump on the Orange Line, which will take you to Arlington and DC, which is amazing. So it's still under construction. I don't know when it's gonna open. It was supposed to open in, back in 2020. Hopefully it opens this year in 2021. But once it's open, you'll be able to walk there from Reston Town Center. So it's going to be super convenient for anybody who lives in Reston Town Center, just getting around all Northern Virginia and into DC. Now it's not open yet. However, you do have the Reston really Metro stop open. That's only about two miles away from Reston Town Center. So if you have to use the Metro, at least you have an option as of right now. Now the sixth thing that you need to know about Reston Town Center, and that's going to be, you got to pay for parking. There's always gonna be a con with an area, and this is probably the biggest con of Reston Town Center is that you gotta pay for parking. However, it's not really as big a deal as you think it is. So pay for parking actually started back in 2014. I even remember when that happened. There was a big uproar between you know the customers, uh, restaurant owners, uh, the businesses that were located in Reston Town Center, because they felt like that would hurt their business. And there was a lot of going back and forth with uh, property management and everybody who was complaining about this. So they did come up with a resolution, kind of met halfway in the middle. They did not get rid of pay for parking. They did, however, adjust it and really it's not so bad. So they only charge for parking between Monday and Friday, nine to five. All right, that's pretty solid. And in fact, the first hour is free. So if you go for a quick lunch in Reston Town Center on a Tuesday for say, if you're in and out, you're gonna get free parking. You only start getting charged that second hour and it's really only like a dollar for that second hour. In fact, when I was filming this video, I was in Reston Town Center for two hours. It was a Wednesday afternoon. I ended up paying one dollar. 
I can live on $1. <laughs> it's not gonna ruin me, that's for sure. Also, after five o'clock, free parking. So you're gonna go there for dinner. You don't have to worry about paying for parking. Also, it's gonna be free parking on the weekends. So as you can see, it's really not so bad. The most you may have to pay is one or two dollars. It's probably not gonna break the bank. So it's a good happy medium compared to how it was before where they charged a lot and they charged on the weekends and nights. So really, it's not that bad. Reston Sound Center is a great place to hang out. Like I said, go there, happy hour with your friends, walk around with the kiddos, go ice skating, grab a great steak dinner, watch a movie in the movie theater, shop at the local retail shops, a little something for everybody. Even if you don't wanna live there, I'm not saying live in Reston Town Center because that's definitely not for everybody, but just hanging out there and all the activities that they have to offer, you're absolutely gonna love it. And if you wanna learn more about living in Reston, Virginia, check out these videos right here. They're gonna be great resources. And don't forget to leave a comment right below about your favorite part about Reston Town Center, and I'll see you on the next video.